What's going on guys? My name is Cleo Thomas, AKA Mr. Slick Living. I am an actor, producer, streamer, and huge collector of many different things. Sneakers, vintage Disney animation crew jackets, Funko Pops, Bear Bricks. When I first unboxed the Astro Gaming Bear Brick, I was in shock. I didn't know that it was getting sent to me but when it finally arrived, I loved it immediately. I love the translucent and stripe design that they went with. Uh, I also love the fact that they made sure to not only just do the 400% bare brick size, they also did the 100% bare brick size. But man, it's a really, really great design and Astro did not miss uh, teaming up with bare brick to create one of the coolest must have limited edition bare bricks, I think ever. From Metacom, I do believe they've only done collaborations with two other gaming companies in the world. And so for us to be the third is pretty prestigious, especially when they've done collaborations with Chanel, Fendi, Nike. They have taken a silhouette that is shared across multiple platforms, but has given artists, other brands, other companies an opportunity to define that in a way they feel is relevant to their audience as well as to their brand. The really most important thing is how is this authentic to gaming? Right? now to be honest the way i feel that a lot of these external brands are approaching gaming is potentially a little disrespectful towards the gaming culture i think if you're going to really adopt gaming as an important part of your brand statement or your brand position is to really treat it with the respect that it deserves in understanding the diversity and the uniqueness of everybody in the gaming space and really listening to what's going on in the gaming space. This project took probably about 14 months to get done. I had phone calls and emails going back and forth. And then after that, I flew to Tokyo during Tokyo Game Show and I had to pitch them formally. And then from there, I went to DesignerCon. Really, it was a lot of relationship building. And then once we finally did get approved to do a bear brick, I needed someone who could balance the line between gaming and external gaming culture, specifically sneakers, streetwear, fashion, lifestyle in general. And I felt like Alex, just talking to him, you know, getting him on this project was a no-brainer. Through the grapevine of Astro, you kind of heard rumors of a bear brick collaboration. Really wanted to get involved. Like really was trying to push to actually get hopped on with the projects. Mark finally approached me and I'm like, okay, hell yeah, I'm getting worked into this. Excellent. I used to go to the store called Toy Tokyo in New York, which essentially sells all these different collectibles and pretty awesome opportunity to hop on board onto something that I actually really enjoyed seeing in person. Really wanted to start off by kind of deep diving Bear Brick and really starting to pull up what they've done in the past, what they've done with collaborations, where their image is, what other people have done. And really, it was two different avenues that we could take. There's the really literal representation where let's say you want to do a specific character, you want to do a robot, you actually physically make the robot, or you want to do an alien, you make the alien or a skeleton of some sort. And the other representation was more of an abstract pattern feel. It's more of a non-literal representation of it. A really good example was this Jackson Pollock one where it represented his paintings, but it's not as if they made Jackson Pollock himself, where if you're not familiar with Jackson Pollock, you're like, wow, that's pretty cool. But if you are familiar, you actually recognize it. We had a few different paths that we could take and a lot of different sketches. We mocked them all up. We printed out a bunch of 2D bare bricks, and then we essentially put those on the actual the brick itself and then we had about probably 20 different designs and some of them were extremely abstract some of them were very minimal but overall big call was how do we put something out there that's going to represent astro something that will look abstract enough to draw on people who aren't familiar with the brand but still bring in people who are familiar with the brand so for us we narrowed it down to the hazard bear brick this was just our core sort of staple of assets in which we always use these hazards. It sits all throughout our art direction. The star is from our logo, the Astro whole word mark, or even just the emblem with the Astro A star itself. And it's essentially, if you look at the A, it wraps around and it's actually a little arrow pointing to the star. And it's always about meaning to go forward, always meant to be journeying forward. It experimented with a few different things. Why don't we put our logo right there? What if the logo just slap right into the face? And like, yeah, we don't want to have this be just a logo slappage. Why don't we just actually 
make it look like it's something abstracted. And we felt the eye was pretty cool. It felt almost Terminator-esque walking and he's just got the one red eye. I like back graphics on t-shirts, whether it's sweatshirts, you name it, long sleeves. I think it's a really cool placement for a graphic and just growing up in the 90s, like that was definitely a pretty common placement. Now it's all coming back. So you can see it almost as if it's like a jersey, whether it's physical sports or digital sports, you name it, man. It's all over the place. And I think it's more of this feeling that you're part of the team. And I think by putting that branding on the back with the, the top shoulder blades it, it you feel as if you're part of this team and rather than broadcasting the brand right up front why not leave it as more of a discoverable in the back but you know what it also reminds me of it reminds me when consoles would release like the translucent versions of their controllers there was translucent n64 controllers in the past translucent playstation uh two remote controllers for sure for me it was more of a homage towards growing up in the 90s when nintendo was just dropping all these different different transparent frosted consoles and devices and in particular like the N64, a bunch of different colorways and that always stuck with me. You had the Game Boy Color coming out in purple and even PlayStation does this as well where you can see within the actual device itself and it feels as if it's more of this machine where if you actually look at the brick, you can see the joints and whatnot, the whole skeleton, it just adds a whole new layer of depth. So I've always liked the frosted transparency on things and this is a chance to inject it within a whole new product. I think the design team and specifically Alex just knocked it out of the park. By itself, you don't need to know it's Astro. You would just think it's something that looks really, really cool. But on the same time is to be able to have that surprise element where if you're an Astro fan, you automatically identify with the Red Star. That's what I think is really cool about it. It's simple, it's subtle, but at the same time, it's very unique. I think gaming is where streetwear was about 10 years ago. You have a lot of subcultures within gaming, first person shooters, you have fighting games, role playing games, you have all these different things, but each game has its unique culture. For instance, with Call of Duty, like the unofficial sneaker of choice is the EC350. And so when you're starting to see sneaker culture integrated into gaming, when you start seeing high fashion as well as streetwear being worn at these gaming events, you see how the identity of these brands are taking a unique perspective and approaching gaming. You really create a sense of community. It reminds me of like as a sneakerhead growing up when you would wear these like Jordans that nobody really knew about and they would be like, yo, you've got some nice kicks. And you feel like this validation where like, oh, he gets it. He knows what this is about. Yeah, there's this whole stigma of just playing games growing up and nowadays you got everyone that's playing it you got celebrities athletes you name it musicians and i think this connection to lifestyle brings everyone together in a sense i've been a gamer my entire life not just myself but also my siblings that was our bonding experience that's what brought us all together we've had every single console we've played every major hit game we've also found some great gems I was actually an NBA 2K19. I was actually the uh, Nike representative. So when you went to sign to Nike brand, you had to come talk to Cleo Thomas in the game. But I look forward to more and more of being able to, to see these two worlds cross, man. And that's the thing about gaming. It's such a massive world with so many different genres and so many different types of experience, whatever lane you choose to be in, man. And that's why I think it's great for opportunities like this to come about with Astro teaming up with Bear Brick. Astro has always been rooted in lifestyle gaming. We feel like we are one of the premier lifestyle gaming brands. And so for us to bring in other brands and other partners that are outside of the gaming world and introduce them to gaming, I think we're being good brand ambassadors as well as ambassadors to gaming. We definitely want to work on more projects for sure. And I think a lot of designers here are so connected to this pulse of lifestyle that we always have ideas rattling around in the back of our heads where we think we could do something cool with this company or we think we could do something cool within this realm of lifestyle. So for sure, it's definitely something that we're looking forward to in the future. I brought three of my favorite bear bricks to be able to show you guys today. This is my Jack Skellington bear brick from the Nightmare Before Christmas. You can never go wrong with the one and only Jack Skellington, the Pumpkin King. Let's put a smile on that face. The Heath. Ledger Joker Bear Brick. I mean, it's a must. It's a must to have this, man. The Dark Knight, one of my all-time favorite films. I mean, one of the all-time best performances ever on screen. I'm a huge wrestling fan. I've been to several major pay-per-views. My third favorite Bear Brick is none other than The Undertaker. I just want to say I am so proud to be an Astro Gaming representative. Astro, you guys are killing it. Whatever you guys have planned next, I can't wait to find out. You should just give me a hint though. I think I deserve to know. Of everyone, I think I should probably get a hint, don't you think? You could just tell me, you could tell me. Just send it to me in a text, whatever the case may be.